So cotton textiles, one of the earliest types of industry set up during as a British age around 1854 at Bombay. India's first cotton textile industry set up by the Britishers in 1854 at Bombay as per the existing conditions due to as a large production, production of goods, production of a raw cotton from a tropical conditions of India and a black soil regions favorable for favorable for a production of a cotton textiles, growth of a cotton textiles in India. Cotton textiles in our country as a cotton textiles are function in a three processes in three uh, forms as a mill sector. That mill sector responsible for a transformation of transformation of a cotton into the other number of a activities. Different processes associated with the associated with the cotton textiles, which are occur in a one of the industries, a small scale scattered units are known as a mill sector. For example, one mill responsible for a ginning, second mill responsible for a spinning, third as a weaving, fourth mill dyeing, and fifth industry. Fifth mill, it will be responsible for a it will purchase as a cotton from a dyed cotton from a other mill towards the their own and cutting and stitching after what the tail, tail ring shirt in a market. This has occurred in a mill sector. Second as the power loom industries, power loom sector. Power loom is a such large scale industries, large scale industries of India, which are known for a different processes associated with manufacturing of a cotton cloth, which are occur at the same place. Means at the same industry, Ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing, then the tailoring, every process, it will be as occur in a one particular industry, one particular place. This is known as a power loom. Sophisticated modern technology, modern technology used for a manufacturing or transformation of a raw cotton into the usable items, into usable items. All these are occurred at a same place. Same place, these things, these processes are occur, which is known as a power loom sector. Power loom sector. Third, as a hand loom sector. Hand loom associated with the such rural economies where people, weavers associated with the transformation of a raw cotton into the usable items. Weavers transform the raw cotton into the usable items, means as a clothes. This is as now presently as handled by the managed by the. It is now as presently managed by the Khadi Bhandar Udyog. Khadi Bhandar Udyog. Udyog. Cooperatives, cooperatives function in rural economy. They are known for a availability of a raw cotton to the weavers. Weavers purchase the raw cotton to the cooperatives manufacture the goods and through cooperatives they are selling in our markets through which as the role of intermediaries the exploitation occurred by the intermediaries the lals intermediaries their impact it, it can be as a reduced due to as a cooperatives use of cooperatives in economy clear next are the next is the challenges what are the challenges faced by the this economy in india Challenges faced by the cotton textiles in India. What are the challenges faced by the cotton textiles in India? First, first as the yes, first is the obsolete technology, outdated technology. Our most number of industries, cotton textiles, most number of cotton textiles, they are having as a older machinery outdated machinery that's why the production of a goods as the low graded most number of a raw material is a wasted in a industry wasted in industry so for the complete utilization of a raw material into the usable items we need the modern technology this is as a problem associated with a cotton textiles outdated machinery outdated machinery is a responsible for a responsible for the low graded production of 
cotton clothes in india low graded production of raw cotton in india clear second as the low productivity of labor low productivity of labor low productivity of labor labor is not as a such of the efficient to which it can as complete our present demand of a manufacturing of a cotton clothes manufacturing of cotton clothes is it is as a unable to complete to the complete through the low productivity of a labor third as a power supply erratic power supply erratic power supply erratic power supply shortage of a power for a cotton textile is responsible it has impact over the economy adversely impact over economy regular supply of a regular supply of power for cotton textiles needed for increasing the production increase in a production units next as a stiff competition competition stiff competition with the synthetic textiles nylon polyester polyester stiff competition with competition with the synthetic fiber like the polyester it has depriving as a growth of a cotton textiles growth of cotton textiles growth of cotton textiles one more as a problem as a export of a cotton export of raw cotton exports of raw cotton is also challenge to the cotton textiles in india how to as the export of a export of cotton which are selling at a low prices but afterwards some manufactured goods are selling in market at a high rates for example at present per kg cotton cotton balls are selling at the amount of a amount of 80 to 90 rupees in a present economy 80 to 90 rupees as a raw cotton selling in a market at same rate as exporting towards other countries but in market as the shirts trousers stitched trousers and shirts are selling at the amount of a 1000 to 1500 1000 to 1500 as the average so to if we assume that the total expenses for the manufacturing of a one trouser if it will be as a 150 means payment payment or salaries which are given to the laborers second as a availability of a technology on its expenses as a transport packaging stitching tailing everything if the if we assume as a 150 rupees 100 rupees of a cotton purchased by the industrialists 150 has spending and afterwards as a 250 total expenses but their earnings are a more profit margin 1000 to 1500 1000 to 1500 we are giving to the such brands which are as the imported brands such clothes are the imported from a foreign towards our country this is as a draining of a drain draining of a wealth from india if we set up our own industries then it will be as a supportive for our industry supportive for the economy people they will getting as a jobs in a such agro based industries through which as industry boost up our economy boost up the problem of a unemployment it will be as a uh, solve eradicate as a poverty and country will achieve as their developmental goals clear this is as a cotton textiles next as a jute industries jute industry is another important textile industry of india textile industry of india or agro based industry it stands next to the cotton textiles in its importance india is the largest one of the largest producers of a raw jute and a second largest producer of a second largest producer of producer and exporter of a exporter of jute products afterwards the bangladesh afterwards the bangladesh leading exporter of a jute in world market as a bangladesh which is our nearest and strongest strongest competitor in a field of a jute production 
West Bengal is the major producer of a jute in India. Mills, most number of a mills in a West Bengal. These are concentrated in a Hooghly region, which are presently as a 70 mills. 70 jute mills are concentrated in a Hooghly region of a Calcutta. Hooghly region near Calcutta, responsible for a growth of a growth of a jute industries near about the 70 mills are concentrated in a, this region. India's first jute mill, it was as established at Rishra near Calcutta. Rishra, R-I-S-H-R-A, Rishra near Calcutta in 1855. After partition in 1947, a three-fourth of the jute producing areas went to the Eastern Pakistan, which now is presently known as the Bangladesh, while the jute mills, they remained in India. Jute producing areas gone towards the Bangladesh, but still as the industry is concentrated towards the India, <coughs> the factors responsible for such number of a large number of a jute mills in a, around the Calcutta and the west of Bengal are the reasons responsible for this are as the Availability of alluvial soils, alluvial soils and deltaic soils <laughs> supportive for the production of a jute. Supportive for the production of jute in this region of a West Bengal. West Bengal. Second, second, inexpensive waterways. Availability of inexpensive waterways means inland waterways. India's longest waterway from Allahabad to the Hooghly, it has worked through as the Ganga. So due to as a Ganga available as an inexpensive waterway, supportive for a, supportive for transporting raw jute and a jute products, jute products, raw jute from a agriculture fields towards the industry and afterwards the industry towards as a Ports for an export facility for which as the inland waterways are the supportive for its growth. Supportive for its growth. High growth of population in the parts of West Bengal, Odisha and Bihar. It ensure as availability of a cheaper labor at the time of a production of a jute and its transformation into a usable items. Clear? Usable items. Fourth factor responsible for a jute industries in India. Factor responsible for a jute industries in India. Inexpensive and skilled labor easily available from the adjoining parts of West Bengal, Odisha and Bihar. Infrastructural facilities like as a banking insurance. Infrastructural facilities like banking insurance banking, insurance, finance, power supply from the Damodar River Valley Project, Damodar River Valley Project or the Rani Ganj, coal producing areas, Jharia from a Jharkhand, easily available for a power supply, for regular power supply for this jute industry, jute industry, vast and vast national and international market for jute products supportive for a growth of a jute mills in adjoining parts of a Calcutta in Hooghly region. In Hooghly region, jute industry is important as it provides support to the approximately the 2.6 lakhs of total workforce of our country. Total workers of our country, 2.6 lakhs Total workers, 2.6 lakhs, they are getting directly as a job to the jute industries, jute mills. We earn the foreign exchange by exporting of the jute products like as a mats, jute products which are exporting towards the, exporting towards different countries of a world as mats. M-A-T-S, mats, sacks, S-A-C-K-S, S-A-C-K-S, 
sacks clothes jute clothes are also selling textiles clothes clothes are trans these are exporting at a larger in number in our country larger in number in our country indian jute industry is facing the challenges indian jute industry is facing the some of the certain number of the problems problems associated with the jute industries in india jute industry in india as a first as a stiff competition with the synthetic fiber competition with the nylon polyester nylon polyester polyester which has decreasing as a use of a jute and its production declining second decline in jute producing areas those areas which earlier known for the production of a jute but but now as presently known for the production of a cereal crops wheat and rice especially as a rice in a north eastern regions of assam and west bengal known for a production of a more than one crop of a rice in a year so decreasing the jute producing areas third rise of a new competitors like rise of new competitors rise of new competitors in relation rise of new competitors new competitors like bangladesh thailand egypt philippines brazil brazil in a field of a jute production in a field of a jute products increase in a number of a competitors in relation to the jute products as a bangladesh thailand egypt brazil philippines etc etc next international markets to be captured again by offering the diversified jute products of good quality at reasonable rates at reasonable rates so those industries which are now as a presently just as the present concentrated towards the different countries of the world these are selling their goods at a low cost low cost which is as creates as a it creates as a problem which has creates as a problem for the jute industries it creates as a problem for the jute industries in india due to as a such foreign industries of a philippines philippines thailand brazil which has increasing as a competition in a field of a jute and prices especially as a prices which are selling their goods at a low cost clear next as a obsolete machinery obsolete machinery obsolete machinery is also responsible one of the reasons responsible for a problems associated with the jute industry jute industry jute industry clear india exports jute bags packing materials carpets mats and other products of a day to day life directly towards the directly towards the directly towards the us usa uk united kingdom canada russia united arab republics australia etc india exporting a large number of jute products directly towards a large number of foreign industries to earn hard currency such income which earned by the export of jute products in us canada saudi arabia uk australia etc in these countries it has used for the such amount of money used for completion of other needs of economy other needs of economy to enhance the demand of a jute products national jute policy formulated in 2015 national jute policy 
formulated in 2015 by the government of india national jute policy 2015 this policy initiated to target the uh, some of the objectives like first objective in relation to the national jute policy of 2015 as a increasing surface area of increasing production sites of jute production increase in surface area or increasing the production area under jute production because since last 60 70 years the total surface area which earlier used for the production of jute now as used for the production of cereals wheat and rice especially as a rice so that area which uh, which should be as a increase by impact over a jute production second 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 to ensure good prices to jute growers government try government try to increase the prices or to provide as the high prices to the jute farmers under this national jute policy of 2015 ensuring good prices to jute growers jute growers next improving the quality of a jute products improving quality of jute products improving quality of jute products so these three objectives aimed by the objectives aimed by the government of india through the national jute policy of 2005 sorry 2005 besides the people they concern towards as using as a eco friendly materials has created the demand for a jute products in economy jute products in economy jute products in economy root products in economy clear third agro based industry as a sugar industry sugar industry sugar industry is categorized under the sick industries sugar industry categorized under the sick industries of india the reason as the low graded production our most number of sugar mills these these were established since independence afterwards the independence still as a function which are based upon the older machinery older machinery that's why the sugar industry is known as a sick industry in our country the production is not adequate as per the present demand of economy clear sugar industry is dependent on a sugar cane which is as located in a raw material producing areas raw material producing areas of sugar cane sugar cane is a heavy raw material heavy raw material perishable in nature which can easily dry easily dry sugar industry is a weight losing industry sugar industry is a weight losing industry weight losing industry of india sugar industry is the weight losing industry the reason afterwards the harvesting of a sugar cane afterwards the harvesting of sugar cane it should be crushed in a shorter tenure of time delay in a crushing of sugar cane afterwards a harvesting it deprived its quality the sucrose content from a sugar cane it dry sucrose content from sugar cane dries under such circumstances the quality of a sugar cane declines quality of sugar cane declines <laughs> sugar industry is the weight losing industry because the raw material required is a larger in quantities than the produced finished product 
India is the second largest producer of sugar in a world market afterwards the China. It occupies the first place in the production of indigenous sugar, <clears throat> indigenous sugar, jaggery and khandsari, good and khandsari. At this field, the production of a jaggery and khandsari, India is placed at the leading producer. So sugar mills, which are concentrated basically in a rural areas, presently as a function on the basis of a cooperative sector. Cooperatives which are directly purchase sugarcane, purchase sugarcane from farmers and selling towards, selling towards, directly towards as the, directly towards the industries, directly towards industries which solve as a problem of uh, intermediaries. Middlemen's their problems is uh, sorted out, well, which were earlier responsible for exploitation of farmers in rural economy. Sugar mills are ideally located in a sugarcane producing areas and needed to be transported quickly soon after the harvest. Delay in a transport of a sugarcane afterwards the harvesting deprived its quality. That's why the most number of a sugar mills are concentrated in a parts of a Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Punjab, and Haryana. Punjab, Haryana, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Punjab, Haryana and Madhya Pradesh in such parts as the most number of sugar mills are concentrated. The 60 percentage of sugar mills are concentrated in a parts of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. 60 percentage of sugar mills are concentrated in a parts of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Clear? Till there are any questions? Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. So according to the recent observations and the concentration of sugar mills are ideally located in a southern parts of a country. In a southern parts of country as compared to the, as compared to the most number of sugar mills are concentrated towards the southern and the western parts of a country comparatively the northern parts of a country. What are the reasons responsible for this? Reasons responsible for the concentration of a sugar industries in a parts of a southern and a western parts of a country. The reasons responsible are the first higher sucrose content. As we learned in agriculture chapter, the best quality of a sugarcane producing areas are the Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra. Maharashtra. That's why the large number of sugar mills are concentrated in a such parts of a Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Maharashtra where high sucrose content, sucrose content supportive for a, supportive for growth of sugar industries. Second, higher productivity and production, higher productivity and production. Third, cooler climate ensures the longer crushing season, cooler weather conditions supportive for the larger or a longest, longest crushing season in Northern India, especially in a parts of Punjab, the sucrose content has increasing in a sugar gain afterwards the loading. It means as a mid of the January, mid of January, but their crushing period, it decreases at that time. It is at its end with the, till as the mid of the February, due to as increase in a temperature, the quality of a sugarcane impact it has affected. Clear, cooler climate ensures the longer crushing season in a southern and western parts of India, which are not experienced as a, not experienced in a northern India, because in northern India at that time as a beginning of the summers. Next as success of a cooperative movements, success of cooperative movements, 
success of a cooperative movements in an india is responsible for this next as a availability of a cheaper labor availability of cheaper labor in a punjab and haryana there is a, there is as the problem of a labor basically as a agriculture laborers they are coming from a bihar jharkhand but they are preferably coming on at the sowing period of a rice sowing period of rice neither for a harvesting of sugarcane due to as a deficiency of a cheaper labor cheaper labor such labor is easily available in a southern and a western parts of a country due to high distribution of population distribution of population is the higher in a parts of a maharashtra gujarat tamil nadu andhra pradesh due to the this the most number of a sugar mills are concentrated in a southern and a western parts of country clear next are the challenges the problems associated with a sugar industry in india what are the problems associated with the sugar industries in india the seasonal nature of industry first seasonal nature of industry seasonal nature of industry that industry which can be as a function during as the winters not throughout the year old and inefficient methods of production old and inefficient methods of production third transport delay in reaching sugarcane to the factories sugarcane to factories responsible this is as the this is as the problem for a sugar industries problem for sugar industries next the need to maximize the use of a bagages bagages the remains that remain which has lies which has present afterwards as a crushing of a sugar cane it should be as a properly utilized that bag is that raw material that kind of a waste it which has extract after the crushing of a sugar cane it can use for a generation of electricity in a thermal power stations thermal power stations as a source of a raw material it can use in a thermal power stations for generation of electricity generation of electricity by the burning of a that substance it can use as in a thermal power stations for a generation of electricity clear obsolete machinery next obsolete machinery erratic power supply if we start to use a bagage the remains of a crushing of a sugar cane for burning in a thermal power stations through which we can solve the problem of a power in a sugar industries clear sugar industries the problem of a power supply it can be as a sorted out if we start to utilize the that bagages which has appear afterwards the crushing of a sugar cane so any questions tomorrow we will start as some mineral based industries metallurgical industries